There's a secret that they don't tell you about finesse fishing a drop shot. That thing weighs like 40 pounds. I know, it's as heavy as me. Lord. If he comes off, you're getting slapped in the face. Oh, gosh. You see how quickly that thing came out of the water right at my face? You sure you want to go with that? Do you know what I'm fishing with? Fishing with the beef stick, sir. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing. I've got a crazy one for you today. Chris, it's, crazy. it's pretty crazy. That's it. When I got on the boat today, I brought a fishing rod oh, and you Lord. said, what in the heck <laughs> is that? You want to, it's, it's a two piece. I don't know if I can pick it up, it's so big. It's heavy, heavier yeah, than me. Lord. That's right, it's a two piece. That's a surf fishing rod. So I'm actually going to the beach in like the next week and uh, I just got this new rod. It's a 12 footer and I thought, you know what? There's a secret that they don't tell you about finesse fishing a drop shot and that it's done best on like, I don't know what size reel that is, but a giant reel. It says it's a tundra, so it's as large as a truck. They don't tell you when you're finesse fishing that you need a really, really large setup. They always say downsize and be real stealthy. I say no. You need to show them fish, you mean business. So you get a 12 foot rod. The beef stick. The beef stick by Daiwa. You get a tundra reel right there and you rig it up on a drop shot. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be fishing a drop shot with what one of the, one, a, a very big rod. I'm not gonna say the world's biggest because they make 15 footers, 20 footers, but a very big rod. This is definitely the biggest finesse rod. Like, why are you laughing? This is gonna work. Okay. Giant reel, giant rod, one skeptical person in front of me holding all of it. I'm sure there's more of you out there. Come on now, don't be skeptical. This is this is a this is something the pros don't tell you that you need this setup to drop shot fish. Like this is the optimal setup. They want you throwing, you know, those. If you're fishing off an ocean liner, it might be a perfect drop shot shit. I never said what you were fishing off of, Chris. I'm just I'm just saying this is a good idea. This is gonna work. We're gonna catch a bunch of fish. It's gonna be awesome. I mean, it looks like we're putting up an antenna in the boat. It's almost as long as the boat. Like, what if I catch something big and I need the net? I can just go, oh, no, you stay there. I'll bring it to you, and I just swing it. I think it was like 40 pounds. I know. It's as heavy as me. Lord. It's going to be great. This is going to... This is going to be good. This is going to be good, I swear. All right, let's get into the video. Let's... Uh, I got to rig this thing up, put a drop shot hook on it. I'm, I'm going to catch monsters. Like, I'm hoping for a tuna. All right, Mr. Skeptical. I'm gonna be fishing uh, Guggen Baits, drag okay. and drop. I've got my drop shot rigged up. I've got my giant rod rigged up. It's actually behind you, but in front of me <laughs> at the same time. I'm actually gonna challenge you because I'm so confident in this top secret way to fish a drop shot. I'm gonna say I catch more fish than you in an hour. <laughs> what? Do you, but you can fish with anything. You, you don't wanna pick my bait because I don't think it's gonna happen. I, I'll let you fish with whatever you want. Oh, you're going, going with the bandit crankbait? I'm going with number one. I mean, that makes me a little bit nervous. I don't know why you're laughing. I don't even have to throw it. You probably just, just I'm just going to drop it. I just, drop that's down. that's Eight feet from the, 18 feet from the pinpoint middle. accuracy, sir. What you're going to do, I've challenged Chris. I'm going to catch more fish on him, in an, or more fish than him in an hour using this massive surf rod with a drop shot. I have full faith. I'll probably be doing this all day. <laughs> all day how long it take you to catch a fish. Hey, all no, day. no, it ain't gonna take me all day. Get him in the boat, maybe. This thing is, gosh, this is heavy. <laughs> I do have one recommendation for you. What's that? We may want to put the net up there for you to be able to grab it easier. You're gonna need that. You need that to help me get my fish in here. You might not be able to get close to the boat where I can reach it with the net. That's also a concern. I think it goes without saying, size of fish doesn't matter. Although I will be catching the bigger ones. You just, I'm just trying to mentally prepare you. Here we go. Oh geez, this is about to be a workout. I wonder what it's gonna feel like when I actually get a fish. Dang it. That's not, not good. Sure you don't want to take your baits? <laughs> my bait. Yeah, throw a bandit on this thing. 
We've only been fishing 10 minutes. I'm already exhausted. All right, we're about to get in the honey. The honey zone. I know, you should be worried. You're going to have to call the mercy rule. Okay. Mercy rule? Okay. If I go up by more than 10 fish on you, that's mercy rule. So I've only got to catch two fish, you say? If I'm still at one. If you're still at one and I catch two fish before you catch a second fish, automatic win. You sure you want to go with that? Do you know what I'm fishing with? Fishing with a beef stick, sir. Truthfully, I'd really like to just establish what a bite feels like, because right now, I'm, I'm very unsure. That's what a bite feels like. Oh, gosh. <laughs> the hook setting ability on this thing. You see how quickly that thing came out of the water right at my face? Maybe I shouldn't actually set the hook with this thing. I yank them out of the water. In a fish's mouth, preferably. I do. I do, Chris. I do have one. Let's walk over to the front of the boat so we can get near the rod tip to get him off. <laughs> He's a good one. Set too. He's a good one. Perfect hook set. Well, I know it's perfect hook set. This is the rig. People just don't know it, Chris. They just don't want to let the secret out. That's also a top secret thing. To get him to stop jiggling, you just throw him down. Got him. Got him on the bit. Look, look how big that rod is. I do know what a fish bite feels like. I really didn't even know, know he bit it though, for real. I just saw the line moving, so I just set the hook. And uh, Chris, are you nervous now? Not at all. Well, all I gotta do is catch one more before you catch one. All I gotta do is put the pedals and metal in the boat. <laughs> well, that's not very nice. <laughs> I might go to my drop shot on a bait caster. <laughs> We've got 20 minutes left. Even at the playing field right now. Oh, geez, you're going to do a drop shot for real? Tell you right now, even if you beat me, I'm still a winner. The fact that I was able to hold this thing for an hour, I'm a winner. Oh, buddy. Yeah, if he comes off, you're getting slapped in the face. The fact that he hadn't surfaced yet, hey, yeah. I told you I would. Hang on. Got him. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you gotta bring the net up there. It's too, this is too big. Look at that. Look at that, people. What I done tell you? Got it? Yeah. It's the secret. <laughs> it's the secret to the drop shot. Y'all just don't even know. Oh my goodness, look at that chunk. He's a three. You got the juice. I think he's a three for sure. Yeah. He's starting to get that mouth where you can you can put your hand in it. Nice fish. <laughs> if there's a run on these rods and reels, you'll know what's up. Everybody's drop shotting. The secret to my success, this rod, right, made you switch away from a bandit. That's all I've got to say. Like you switched from a bandit after I caught one on this rod. This rod scared you enough to swap to something else from a bandit. That's enough said. I think that says it all. <laughs> Got one on the beef stick. Yep, buddy. Got a big one on the beef stick. There you go. Giants. Well, how about them freaking apples? I told y'all it was a trade secret. Did y'all see that big fish I caught? Uh, hey, Chris. Hey. How'd that work out for you? Not so good. Not so good. So you admit that that's a trade secret that probably I let out of the bag? Uh, that's probably a secret that's going to stay a secret. Dustin Connell's going to pull that out sometime <laughs> next year. Uh, more like Jacob Wheeler. Huh? Jacob Wheeler, definitely. I mean, Jacob Wheeler's probably the person who created this. It just worked its way back to me. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. This was a fun one to shoot. My back is killing me because that thing is, that thing is easily... I don't know, it's, it's probably 10 pounds. 
I'd say 10 pounds. Yeah, I'd say 10 pounds that I was having to sit there and muster around. I did, I think that fish was around three pounds. So that was a fun fight. It was a fun little fight. That beef stick held up pretty well. Um, I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna work perfectly down at the beach. So hopefully I'll have some videos of that down at the beach. Surf fishing, if I catch anything, you know I'll, I'll post it. I think it's gonna do it. I think I already said if you liked the video, like it. Uh, by all means, hit the subscribe button. It helps out my channel a ton when you hit the subscribe button. And I hit the ding dong notifications because I do a lot of giveaways and you may want to check back and uh, see if you can win one. That's going to do it for today's video. I really appreciate it. Leave a comment below on what you thought of it and we will catch you on the next one.